Hey YouTube, it's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul and welcome to another Drake tutorial. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a Drake Moog bass style synth. So let's get straight to it. If you're wondering what it's going to sound like, well, it's going to sound something like this after we do everything that we need to do. Uh -huh. All right, so that sound just makes you want to rap. It goes hard, and I'm not even a rapper, and I just feel like jumping on that track right there. But uh, let's go ahead and mute this over here and create a new software instrument track. And we're going to bring in Logic's ES2 synthesizer, if I can find it. And we will be working off of a preset for this guy right here. So I'm just going to load it in right now. Click your drop-down preset menu and go to Tutorial Settings. It switches off my window right here, but then you're going to go up to a preset called Analog Saw 3 OS. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do, we are going to actually draw in our progression here. I'm going to start from scratch as you see what we're doing here because it's very important, or at least one part of it is important. Drag it to four bars, and I'm just going to draw in my synth here, or my progression here. So I'm going to do a classic Drake style progression or in hip hop it's going to go from a G uh, we're going to go to a D sharp then to an A sharp down to a D now for this sound to work properly we're going to use something called Portamento or Glide. Uh, that's what it's called in ES2. It's called Glide. And uh, what you want to do is just make sure that you drag your notes over the next note, just so it can glide into that next note. Just a little bit. You don't have to go crazy, but just like that, it should be okay. And uh, let's open up ES2 again. First thing you're going to want to do is select Mono. And then you're going to want to turn on unison to get a nice wide stereo sound. That's a little loud, so I'm going to bring down the volume. All right, the next step we're going to do is going to move on to our oscillator number three. And we're going to remove this last saw right here and just push it down to a noise generator. And we're going to kind of mix in the noise to about like 10 or 12 percent. Maybe a little bit more than that. All right, something like that is okay. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to turn up analog just to kind of get a nice analog feel. Kind of detunes the notes a little bit. Just makes it more lush, as you can hear, because more analogs all rather than so hard. Make it more lush. Pull that all the way up. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to turn up our glide to about, I want to say, 11 o'clock. So you hear right there how you get those glides in between the notes. Then, so those glides right there are very important to the feel and the vibe of the track. So uh, make sure you kind of stretch out your MIDI notes to kind of overlap the next MIDI note so it can kind of glide to the following note. Next thing that we're going to do, we're going to move this guy over here all the way to the left side. And we're going to make sure our low pass filter is on. And we're going to just do the cutoff to about 12, 11 o'clock. Next thing we're going to do is pull up our resonance all the way to about, well, 5 o'clock, almost 100%. 
All right, so now the sound is, we're pretty much there. All we need to do is drop the octave. To drop your octaves quickly, all I like to do is just select the region, go over to my inspector right here and click transpose. I'm gonna push it down to minus 24, see if that's enough. No, let's do one more. And right there, you got yourself a nice Drake-style Moog bass. So uh, you can just go ahead and play with the cutoff and the resonance to kind of match your style and sound. But uh, for the most part, that is um, what it should be sounding like right there. Right there is that nice, cool, hard Moog style Drake bass. If you have any questions on this, you can ask me in the comment section below. So of course, to save you guys time, if you didn't want to do everything that I just did, I'm going to go ahead and save this as a preset. And I'll put the link in the description box below so you can find the Drake Moog bass preset in the description box below. Download it and load it into your ES2 synth and you'll be good to go with a nice, dark, heavy kind of bass in your face that a lot of rappers use today, but I kind of hear it a lot in Drake's um, Drake's music and you can kind of play around with this progression right here as um, it's used in a lot of rap music and it's, it's it's hard for a reason. So if you have any questions on this you can ask me in the comment section below for more good videos like these and if you are new to Omni Music Mogul remember to hit that subscribe button. As usual guys I'll see you all in the next one. Talk to y'all soon. Later.